afternoon guys um, I'm down at a pond now which um, long story to it really it's the longest pond build ever in the history of ponds in the second world war a bomb dropped on here at the end of it and then um, Gaz started building the pond that's how long it feels anyway do you know what I mean so but no it's been a pond that's been done um, it, it's been done it's took so long because of everything else going around it as well and also Gaz has done most of the work himself Apart from the brickwork, so um, we we did the well. We Gaz even installed the filters. We supplied everything. We did the fiberglass, but everything else Gaz has pretty much done. Him and a few friends. So um, let's have a look. Really nice. The finish is fantastic as well. Absolutely good. When's it? Been? It's only been running. This is the bit week. last weekend. Yeah, weren't it? So there's a couple of fish in there now, but there's more going to go in this next weekend. But look at that. So let me just get the stats dealt with right so the pond is 18 feet by nine by five foot four deep so it's 5450 gallons so about 5500 included well but 5600 including the filters right let's have a look so you've got four returns two from each of the nexus and one from the skimmer line which is currently going through a tempest Does look really smart done a cracking job but it's taken almost three years to get it done but at the same time another thing that you've got to remember about when you when you're planning a pond and when you want to build a pond is that everything had to go through the house so all the blocks all the concrete you name it it all had to go through that door that's it right so and also at the same time Gary was doing the garden new kitchen so everything has come together um, at the uh, you know over the time so you know you can't you know, so, you know you can't just build a pond straight away when you're doing other things you need to plan it around other things that you're doing as well so but it does look absolutely amazing it's the first time I've seen it in person I've seen plenty of pictures and I've seen Gary most weekends saying oh yeah 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 I'm getting it done this weekend I'm getting it done this weekend and then didn't Yeah, so all the garden's been Building done. Yeah, kitchen. kitchen yeah, yeah. That's a tree man's demand. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got all in there. So it's looking really smart. If you got any, um, so you got the return lines coming at the back. This he's left this gap open here, so you can see these pipes there. That's for a heater. So the heater's going to go onto there. So he's already laid the pipe work in there for that. So it's coming all the way down there. Plenty of clips, which is what we use. Unfortunately, Mark McKinney at Clearly, Clearly Aquatics never uses them. So let's have a look at the filters. So again, Gaz has done all this on his own. We've got the two Nexus 320s coming in on the bottom drains. So you've got the four inch lines coming in. Um, then you've got the Tempest there, which is running off the skimmer, which is one of our custom skimmers. We're running three 10,000 litre vary pumps. So there's one going through and then the two on the Nexus. The Nexus can easily handle the five and a half thousand gallons. So we can run them nice and slow. Well, I think there's some gel been put in here as they has. Yeah. So the pond's that new that the media hasn't sunk yet. But people, you know, remember if you do get a Nexus, the media does take quite a while and it takes, um, it, when you've got the fish in there, it's certainly better. Uh, it certainly sinks a lot faster. Um, but it's getting some nice spin around there. So we've got the four inch coming in down there. These are both run on auto kits as well. So both of the Nexus 320 pluses are on the auto kits. So we're coming through two 110 UVs, which is overkill for this pond, but why not? Again, one of the things that we always tell people is that this, this entire system was done off two inch pipe, right? So it, you, you've got to use the 110 UVs as well because you're on two inch anyway. So the majority of this thing, apart from going into the pumps, is on two inch. So we've got the return lines there. 
all open full. So they probably will need a little bit of tweak in them, Gaz, in the just when you get this you turn the air off and then you see the spin. Yeah. You'll get it up, you'll get it nice. So that's in there. So all again, Gary's handy work. And I mean there's no way last weekend he had any leaks on the pumps and had to get emergency fittings again. <laughs> Not bad though, only the pump fittings. Uh, that's the, if that's the only leak you've had, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we've got four inch um, ball valves there, each going into each nexus from the bottom drain. So it looks absolutely superb in here. Plenty of space. I'm only a small lad, so it's easy for me, but. Let's get around there. So we've got the auto kits. What you're running the. Um, varies that at the moment well you won't be able to set them properly until you get the, the media sunk yeah so what would you recommend setting that on um i'd probably put these at about 80 percent. 80 percent. yeah, so yeah. On, on what day cycle on no. the cleaner mm. uh, do it every three yeah. for now just to get it all yeah. up and running i'll do that, I'll start yeah. that then. and then the tempest is running through at five thousand liters yeah, 5,000 litres now, which is perfect for the Tempest. It's even got some muck. You've only got three fish in there. I know, that's because I've PP'd it, isn't that? Ah, right, yeah, yeah. You stuck some PP in. Yep, so you've got the auto valves. So, yeah, it looks absolutely superb. Bit of advertising, Gaz. Yep. Do you want to turn the air off for us, I'd say? But this is a typical um, self-build. Um, a guy who's working five days a week, five, six days a week, has only got a certain amount of time, a certain amount of budget. So it's just one of them things that's taken a while, but it's been done properly and, and it's worth the wait now. It really is worth the wait. So it looks absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, dead chuff for Gary. Now we can start filling it with fish. So instead of looking at them for the last three years, you can actually come down and get some. Let's have a quick look, hang on. So the three fish looking well. Ginring key mats over there, there's the future. But what I just said to Gaz then is that there's a little bit of like debris in this corner. And because you've got the air running on there, all you need to do is turn it off for 20 minutes. And then everything will go down the skimmer, which is up at the far end. Now switch it back on for us, please, Gaz. Beautiful. You don't happen to know what the name of that tile is, do you? Yeah, it's a natural desert. Um, natural desert? Yeah, it's that place, you know, where sandstone directly. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, I'll put the link. Natural desert. Yeah, yeah, natural desert on the tile. Beautiful. So there we have it. Five and a half thousand gallons. Run on two Nexus 320s. Tempest off the skimmer. A labour of love, took 3,000 years to build, but it's well worth it, it really is. So, thanks for watching guys, and we will see you on the next one.